Hey guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. Today's episode is a little bit off topic. This week we've been talking about sales. We started off with Neil on Monday coming to share the art of fitness selling. Then on Tuesday we had some top tips. Yesterday we shared with you what's working, but today I've got something super special for you. So I was on a call with a client in the portal earlier. He's just getting started. He doesn't have any cash to be able to run adverts. So I gave him nine tips that he should really implement right away to start generating sale leads today, which is Thursday, to be able to start making sales over the weekend so he can launch his program on Monday. So enough of me introducing what I'm going to talk about today. Before we do get started, make sure you do subscribe by clicking that big red button below. But here are the nine tips I gave him, which was a Facebook Live inside our free Facebook group. Hey guys, hope you're all okay today. So for today's live, I kind of had to share something with you, okay? This is a uh, feedback I gave somebody who joined the portal, wanted a bit of advice, so he'd had a quick call. He'd gave me a bit of information about his current setup, and I thought, you know what, let's kind of share this with the portal. So I wrote nice big paragraphs, everything we talked about, put it in. Obviously, I didn't mention the guy, I didn't want to like let everyone know who it was, so it was super easy for him to follow. And then, you know, as I was writing it, I thought, you know what, I just have to share this with you all, because some of this content, this information, information should get him up and running in like no matter of time at all he should hopefully be starting to generate his first couple of leads over the weekend and then should be getting them sold and ready to start on monday so let me tell you about this client to begin okay he has access to a gym between 12 and 5 p.m every single day and is allowed to do sessions of up to four people in a class he isn't 100% clear on his target market at the minute, but the issue being in this setup is he'll have to find people who are either flexible, who can come to that specific time, or work shifts, and it, they just can come to that time, because 12 and 5 is kind of an awkward time, usually us as fit pros, we have morning sessions, and then we have evening sessions. He's got zero ad spend, so he doesn't have any money to be able to run Facebook ads. And he currently has a limited audience network. What I mean by that is he doesn't have a massive range of friends on Facebook who he can dive straight into. He doesn't have a massive Facebook fan page where he can just be posting all the time. He doesn't have a massive Instagram account, so his audience network is relatively small. So these are the kind of nine tips I gave him to really help kickstart this, start generating leads over these next couple of days and potentially sell to them to even start making money on Monday. So remember, he has access to a gym between 12 and 5 every single day, um, can do group classes of four. So the first thing I said to him was you need to keep your audience wide again okay? because you can't target a specific type of audience. We need to keep the audience relatively wide to begin. So I'd say, why don't you go over 30s and that's it. We're not saying over 30s mums or over 30s dads or uh, over 30s who are singles or over 30s who are married. We're just keeping it super simple and just saying over 30s only. That way he can work with a wide range of people because he has a very awkward time where he can work with them. 12 till 5, most people are either in work, picking up their kids or you've got stuff going on. So keep your audience relatively wide that you want to work with. I then said to really make the most of this time between 12 and 5, do 45 minute sessions. So if you just did an hour session between 12 and uh, between 12 and 5, that's only five hours or five sessions he could do. If he did them as 45 minute sessions, he could do six sessions. So he could potentially do three sessions, have a 15 minute break and then do the last three sessions. By being able to do them in just 45 minutes instead of one hour, he can get more people in in which is going to give a big difference to the amount of money or the amount of clients he can take on so instead of doing five sessions break it down to 45 minute sessions and take uh, and do an extra session every single day from there then create a free 
Wufu application form. Wufu completely free, unless you want to do a paid version. But remember, he's short on cash at the minute, so keep it cheap. Everything we can do is for free, okay? Jump on Wufu, create a nice, simple form. On there, you want to know their name, you want to know their phone number, you want to know what their goals are, you want to know why now is a good time to start, and then you want to ask them uh, what time is going to work best for them. So he's got six sessions every single day, 12 to 12.45, 12.45 till half past one. Name them all, put them in there. And then when he's putting his application form out, he knows roughly what time slots are being filled so he can stay in control of these numbers. So one, keep the audience wide. Number two was go from five sessions to six sessions by taking it down to 45 minute sessions. Number three, get an application form, couple of questions and find out what it is they need help with and sell them on that one. Number four was then use his limited network to tell the world about what he's about to set up. So that is your Facebook friends, that is your Facebook page, that is your family, that is your Instagram account, that is any email no email people you have. Be following up and telling the world all about what you have going on. You're either going to be able to start a conversation about the service you have coming up or you can start a conversation about a referral that they can potentially give to you. So my example to him was could be maybe he's got his Auntie Sally on Facebook. So he drops Auntie Sally a message. They're having a quick chat. He's telling her, I'm super excited. I've got this new program starting. It's for over 30s and I really can't get wait to get started. Do you know anybody that might be interested? Because Auntie Sally might have been talking to a few of her friends. She might know a couple of people and you just start generating referrals that way. OK, so be reaching into your audience or into your network, start conversations and building it up from there. And my challenge for him was, can you do 20 conversations every single day? Start 20 brand new conversations every single day. If you've got no money to spend, you haven't got any sessions going on, you haven't got many clients going on, then there's no reason why you can't start 20 new conversations every single day. Step five. This was to document every single step he does until he's got the business to where he wants it to be. So my example would be, guys, I'm looking forward. I found a gym. I'm going to start working from this gym. Day one, day two. I'm thinking I'm going to do my session between 12 and 5, day three. These sessions are probably going to have four people in day five or uh, day four in these sessions we're going to probably be working on this type of thing day five this is what they're going to get on their program so you're just going every single day you're just keeping them updated on how you're getting on what updates you've got going on in your business and just letting them know the flow of the actual business itself so they can get to know you like you and trust you because they can see they know you're a real person and they can see how your business is developing and growing which they'll like much more and they'll reach out to you uh, number six was offer trial sessions. Now, I didn't use the word free, trial sessions. So my brother did this all the time before. He would offer out trial sessions to kids to come and do football coaching with him. But there was a price to this session. So I said, start off with just a fiver. Keep it nice and simple, OK? By doing a trial session for five pound, you're not giving your time away for free. You're not generating a load of waste of time clients who just want that free session. You're actually getting money. So he's generating some a little bit of cash. I know it's only a fiver, but that's going to start building up quite quickly. He knows then this person has paid the fiver, so they're going to be willing to spend and giving them away like that. So you don't give away free sessions, you give away trial sessions for a set price. It could be fiver for one session. So you're generating cash for giving your time away. Uh, number seven, I, number seven was decide on the price of the monthly service. So you've got people coming in, they've paid you the fiver for this trial session. Uh, they're super excited that this session went really well. They enjoyed working with you. And then they're going to turn around to you and say, how much is it? So you need to be confident then with this price that you're going to say to him. So because he doesn't have anything set up yet, I said to him, keep the prices simple. Two sessions a week, £87. Three sessions a week, £97. Then if you want to go higher, because he wanted to charge way, way more than that, I said, every time you sign 10 people up, increase the price by £10. That way then you are constantly building the price up 
but you're still making sales. The last thing you want to do is start charging £300 a month for a service. You're speaking to 20 new prospects every week and none of them are signing up. But if you charge £100 to begin and you're making all those sales, as you start to build up, the people that initially started at a lower price will start to leave and people who are paying more will start to come in. But it's better to get people paying uh, a set price to begin and start building from there instead of going at the top end and making no sales for a long time and really, really struggling. Number eight, then decide what's included in the programs. So he's got the sessions. Maybe he's got a free Facebook support, a uh, free group where his clients are going to be in. He's got online support and he's got maybe monthly recipe packs. But he needs to know what is in this package. So when he says the price, he can also let them know what's in the package. So they're comfortable. They know exactly what they're getting for their money. And then the ninth one, obviously, the people watching this, you won't be able to do this. But I said to him, jump inside the FitPro portal, grab the Facebook ad copies. And then every other week you post a Facebook ad copy with a link uh, to the application form on your timeline, on your Facebook page, in local for sale groups, uh, local community groups, tag people in it. So this is like a sales copy that he's posting out every other week. And then in the opposite week, he's given away those trial sessions, which are five pound. That way, then he's generating quality application forms and he's generating quality leads because people want to pay a fiver for coming to do this trial session. Whew. So those were the nine points I gave him. OK, and like I said, this is the guy that joined the portal wants to get started, wants to hit the ground running, but isn't exactly sure what to do. So those are kind of like nine tips I would say to you. If you're just getting started or you don't know what to do or you're really struggling, follow those nine tips, okay? They're really going to help you get, help you get, just get the ball running, start to generate leads and obviously starting to make sales. So those were the nine tips. And yeah, I know I kind of did go on. It was like 10 minutes in the end, but I really wanted to give you as much detail as possible because when I do have these phone calls, I literally sit with them and I get super excited, they get super excited, we're both getting super motivated because what they're telling me and what I can give them back from what they tell me is literally what is gonna either grow their business or start their business. So it's, it's super exciting for both of us to be chatting about these type of things. But I kind of wanted to give you an insight, especially if you're just getting started on how quickly or how easily it is to just get the ball started again okay? how to really kick on and go from zero to a couple of clients in less than a week anyway as usual if you want to check out some of the previous videos we've been talking about this week don't forget you can always uh, click some of these videos just here or subscribe by clicking that big red button below anyway i'll speak to you all tomorrow cheers